Hello and welcome back to another Let's Play on Rome to the War with the Julii on... Nope. Why do I keep saying that? I'm just, it's just stuck in my head to say on Legendary Difficulty, but it doesn't it doesn't matter. Anyway, last time I left off, we had uh, taken Salona, I do believe. Um, we're off to uh, put some towers down and the like. And we gotta wait for some reinforcements so that they can keep this town happy. And we don't just abandon it straight up the bet. Off the bat, even. Um, Money-wise, we have a little bit left, which means I'm actually going to spend it on one Astati, because I do think we need to keep recruiting men, especially now that we know what's coming from Gaul. I don't know if they're actually coming after us, um, but uh, either way, if they if they are, or if they, even if they aren't, it's still something we have to deal with at some point, so we should, may as well prepare for it ASAP. And that's that <laughs> diplomatic game with the longest name in the known universe. Ready to sail. Uh, this navy is, uh, is on its way to Egypt. Um, I think we may have done everything agent-wise and all that, but we should have a look around just to be absolutely certain. We had our diplomat here just kind of spying for us, because, you know, that's what he does. Did I not recruit a sing uh, second spy? I think I was... I thought about it, but I guess I must have not done that. Perhaps I was doing something else, I don't recall. Um, we do have this spy here, who is not necessary here, I don't think. I think we should probably send him towards the, e the west as well, then. But for the moment, let's um, send him with my general, just to keep an eye out. So, because that's a little suspicious, isn't it? I don't imagine that the Macedonians are going to declare war on us right now, but I don't know. What do the Senate think? Note, with approval that war these people is currently far from your thoughts. However, they wish to impress upon you that in the interest of the Senate and people of Rome, friendly diplomatic relations should be established. Yeah, they don't want me to murder Macedon right now. So, we probably shan't if we don't have to. I mean, I don't want to, obviously, because that would mean I get fully into Greece, and I don't want to get into Greece. I want to be able to focus on one front at a time, because I'm sure Germania, or the Germans, whatever, are going to be disliking us at some point, too, so if I were to have to focus on all three of those at the same time, that'd be pretty rough. Okay, so that's going to go into Massilia, or not. They moved part of it out again. Dacia going for all the rebel towns. Somehow getting beaten by some rebels right there. That's probably good for us, though, to be fair. Blockade a port of Carthage. We will be rewarded. That's great. Uh, or actually, the Carthage one, not, not Carthage in general. We have to actually blockade the port of Carthage. Um, either way, I mean, that is very much within our capability, but that would mean we go to war with Carthage. And I don't want to go to war with Carthage. Why would I want to go to war with Carthage? So we're not going to do that. Go as far as you can, then. So where are you going to set up, like, turn it off? Um... Okay. War declared. In Thrace and Dacia. That is interesting. I would have thought they would be friends of all things, but okay. Uh, we recruited that Hastati. Did indeed. We built some buildings as we do, and we made quite a bit of money. Holy crap. Probably would be worth going for these mines here too. So we'll go ahead and do that. That's quite an expensive thing to do, but... I suggest that we made the mines, so now this place is just gonna... Just gonna thrive. And the communal farming are in Arminium. The market's the only building that here increases population growth still. No, it doesn't even. That's only the lower levels, I suppose. Oh, I suppose. We should really build some buildings that let us recruit units, but this is also not bad. Oh, that's quite good, in fact. Yeah, we're going to go for the port first. Sorry. Uh, and that leaves us a significant amount of money, actually to do some other things, because I do really need some cab at some point, because it's just very useful to have, so I can charge it in the back once or start to get into melee, and we just break everything. Practice range as well, because I wouldn't mind some more Vilates, although now we know that they're quite crap, but I'm also assuming they're gonna, they're quite cheap, aren't they? Uh, how much do you cost, sir? 170 as opposed to... Wow! What is the point of Vilates? What is your actual point? They have less ammo too, I think. I don't think this says anywhere, does it? But um, I think they can throw three, maybe four times. A star team, I think three times. Either way, though, their damage is, is four lower per volley, so field days are fucking worthless. What the hell? I mean, they're cheaper to recruit, but who gives a shit about that? <laughs> Alright, so, uh, no Vilates. Well, I mean, I do definitely want Archers, because their damage is the same, obviously their range is way better. That's crazy, though, I didn't see that coming at all. Uh, stables would be useful, but I don't... I think let's go for... Uh, I don't know. I do want Cav, but do I want Cav right now? 
Let's go for the blacksmith. Let's just do it. Let's go mental. What can we build here? Just the barracks if we don't care about that. In Medialanum, we are already building something. In Potavium, we are already building something. So in, actually, in actual fact, we have something building everywhere that we can build, except for these barracks, which, again, I don't really care about. So I'm not going to waste that money right now, because we shouldn't. Yeah. Alright, so you're going to get in there now. Sir. And now we know there's a uh, half a force there. Oh, jeez, there's another force. Oh, this is starting to become a little crazy, actually. That's almost a full force, and then that's almost a full force. It's like, it's like, it's, it's one and a half full force to, together. That's a lot of stuff. We have a coming of age, Manius Julius, who is uh, gloomy. Minus one influence, minus one morale for all troops on the battlefield. He's a firm personal morality. Plus one to unrest. Plus one to law. Oh, so <laughs> negative effect on public order, plus one improves public order. And plus one influence. And he's a political animal. He's got popularity with the Senate and extra influence. Um, okay, this guy's going to be a governor. Gloomy is pretty bad, minus morale on the battlefield, so you, my friend, are going to govern one of my cities. And that city will likely be Batavium, because I'm pretty sure that's our best town. Oh, that one's actually got more people in it. It's not as rich, though. Nowhere, nowhere near. I'm quite sure why, but it's got an excellent harvest. Taxes 534. Yeah, it's about the same, and that's way lower, so I guess that's where the main problem is. Also, devastation. Not quite sure what that comes from. Uh, salaries and armed for yeah, that's all the same, isn't it? Yeah, you get that everywhere. It just depends on your population. Um, okay. So uh, yeah, you go you go into Batavium from here. Manius Julius. Can't even reach him one turn, you fool. You fool. Can this guy reach him one turn? That's the same movement. General! General! Alright. Orders! March! Um out of move, sir! Didn't even think about suggest that, but yeah, population there is far lower. Largest faction. Hey, look at that. Largest faction. And the turn. We made some money, as we already knew. Mission Senate. Oh, we already saw that. Never mind. Okay. General. You're gonna go to the front lines, because that is certainly something we need to do right now. I do really want to build a, uh, a blacksmith here, or militia barracks here, so I can start recruiting stuff from here, because the population's gone up so much higher here now, because I keep recruiting units from here. But I'm going to keep it up anyway, because we really General. need to do that. Alright, so you were going to go to this army. I suppose I can still keep doing that. Forward. That army is getting larger and larger, and that's where I was going to place General. a tower. So that's a little risky, actually. I don't really want to lose Quintus Julius here. Forward. From a random betrayal from the... Uh... Build tower. Forward. Let's assume that they're Build tower. not up to any... Onward. And he, uh, move, not up to not, be, not being... Yes, master. <sighs> Another force. Ooh. May I ask what your goal is here, sir? I really hope that he doesn't get killed there. Imperator. Really be rough. Alright, that leaves you to start going this way, too. No more moves, sir. No more moves, sir. I could probably move this unit out as well, actually, but sir. I don't want to because... Onward. Oh, no, it's still nothing. Never mind. Never mind. Okay. Uh, yeah, you're just on your way to the army, so... Onward. Is that really fast than going across the coast? We went across the coast of the army. I wonder if I shouldn't have. Oh, I, you really shouldn't have. Um, okay. So, you can keep moving, actually. I don't know why I stopped. This place as well, and, and Batavia, we need to start making into recruitment places. All four of these towns, basically. Suggest I'm sure will be at some point too, but right now population's a bit shit. It's gonna upgrade at 2000 though. I'm sure we actually are getting close to certain... Yeah, this one's actually very close to getting to the next level. Not too shabby. That one's a little further away, and that one's... This one would have been there by now if I hadn't recruited some of the units, but obviously I needed to recruit units. Not really an option there. You've already been moved. Other agents, I do not think, have been. You're on. We have spoken to Grace. Yeah, uh, to Grace? To Frace. <laughs> Mixing Grease and Frace up. Uh, so you're going over to them. You are going over to there somewhere. Jesus, really. Am I? Am I mistaken? You wanna, you wanna put some money on that? Uh, and Spanish diplomat friend guy. 
This is starting to get a little ridiculous here. Without delay. Right, let's make delay. sure. Oh, they actually own Without donut. Ger uh, the Germans might take it. That's probably quite good for us. I'd right, rather they are screeching women. I remember charging into those, it's killing them all off. Um, yeah. Sir. If they take that, I I would be more than happy for them to do so. Decimus Pompeius. All right, I think that's me for this turn. Spy, I didn't actually move, but it's not too big a deal, really. Macedonia, it's the only ones I'm afraid of, really. Uh, I think we, oh, we already went past them. They're just still sitting there. Okay. Um, yeah, we'll place one. Actually, let's move you away. I want to see if we still have vision there. Place one over here. Build tower. Forward. And one over there in the corner. That sounds good to me. You're gonna get there next turn, so we can move out next turn. We can move out right now, to be honest. Jesus Christ. Sorry about that. My nieces are here, and apparently they like yelling a lot. Right. Macedonia and Dacia are allied. Okay, that's a little scary. But probably not too much to worry about. Um... See, we recruited the Hastati. I want to keep doing that for the moment. Do we? We didn't finish any buildings. Okay, so we don't have to build anything. That's good. It means we could save up a little bit of money here. All right, we're gonna run up there. Okay, they might attack me here. Uh, which I think I'm okay with. I would be happy with them doing so. In fact, I'm almost tempted to go out and attack them. I wish I knew exactly what they right. had. Let's see if they've got anything else over Without here that's delay. coming. Without delay. Yep, they do. Morally okay. Depleted, sir. Uh, alright. Yeah, you were a governor. <laughs> Hello, governor. Does that mean you need to be here still? Probably not. No, we'll send you. Um, probably west. I don't really need any more units here, so yeah. We just send them west because that's the more likely place we're going to go next. This place is owned by Daisha, so they took that town too. It says Rebel Town still, but we know better than that. Okay, so you're gonna have to go over here too, and you're just gonna take you're just gonna sit in the next town we're gonna take over here. Um more fucking rebels. Two units, so we could probably take them on with the two generals here. And I might do so soon. Now can we move out of here, just out of curiosity? We cannot. I can, however. Leave these Vilotes behind. Or the archers, but uh, leave these behind. And then I'll just, um, I'll just have that unit get in there and then these guys can catch up later. Or I'll just ban them because we now know how fucking horrible they are. It's just that at this point, all units are kind of useful to some degree. He'll be able to catch up with us as well, so that's okay. This is a very small army, by the way, but it'll do. We have two more Illyrian mercenaries we can hire. These guys are actually better, plus they're cheaper upkeep, so I'm actually very tempted to hire them, but I'll do it so next turn. If I could hire one more after all that, that'd be pretty Order. good. Uh, we could get some barbarian scum units as well. I think I'm gonna hire all three of those. 2400? Yeah, let's do it. Kinda need uh, to bolster our troops a little bit here. Barbarian scum! They have to siege us out regardless, but still. So don't basically spend all that money after all. Good stuff. Um, agents. We can almost talk to Scythia unless we meet someone on the way, which is very possible. They should nope. Next turn, that is. Macedonian. Scythia, there we go. Hello. We accept your well intentioned bullshit. Alright, thanks, mate. Okay, so, uh, yeah, one of you is off to Parthia, the other one is off to Pontus and Armenia, and actually, is Armenia even a faction? Armenia, uh, the Seleucids, etc. Actually, there's not really many people over there anymore besides them. Also, yeah, they own four territories, but it's like the largest fucking empire in the world. One of their, This one province is probably more land than I own. <laughs> That's pretty good. Um, okay, so money is spent, mostly. I think we will take out these units here. Um, 
we see anything because of that. One Astarte. I hope the other one's a town watch, but we don't know. Uh, I don't want to do that. It's just attack. Two Astarte. All right. Uh, we can we can take this. Without losing a general, hopefully. Who knows? Maybe we can't. I'm more worried about that fight we're about to have a goal, because that's, well, at least that's going to be the majority of their army, I'm sure, so if we can beat them and take them mostly out and not lose a Those ridiculous amount of men, think they can take us on? we can go after them. Oh, that was, that was the speech. Nice one. <laughs> Alright, so our reinforcements are going to come from the left, I think. Shouldn't have to worry anyway, anyway. Just, just Your reinforcements cover. have arrived! This is hopeful news indeed! Alright, again, I really want to run you guys, but it's going to take fucking decades if I don't, so... Also, units move super fast in this game, it's just that they get tired pretty fast as well. Okay, so we're going to have to find a way to just charge these guys in the back, I think, so we'll put one unit over here. You guys are going to go over there. So you already warmed up. We should go triple speed here. Get his walk. We just gotta give him a good old charge in the back, really, and that's that's all. Forward. That'll do a fuck ton of damage forward. Keep going. Didn't realize we're on the edge of the map again. I think they might be coming after me. Alright. Well, if, well, if this unit wants to come after me, we'll just run around and so we'll just take this guy out. Oh, I'll start turning around. I don't know if this is a good idea, but they're just kind of going in, but this is kind of weird. We got them surrounded, but it's two units that we got surrounded, and that, that wasn't really the plan. I wonder if I should go out for another charge, or if I should just let them kill. Reloading. And the general's the riding, general. that's good. There we go. The enemy army is in flight. Pursue them and drive so them from the battlefield. I think they just, just die off because they're rebels in this game. I don't have to actually pursue him, but I'm not 100% sure, so I may as well. Yeah, that's good enough, though. Yay. Okay. So I think it's, yeah, it's fairly safe to say that these generals are are good enough to deal with these units by themselves, no problem. I'm still just really worried that I'll lose a general or something, but it doesn't look like that actually ever happens. I mean, I could, of course, get uh, unlucky, but this is Julius not good commander, so he's actually, he's getting up there. He's a faction heir, so maybe maybe we'll use him for uh, some combat at some point. Don't understand how he can move one step backwards, but not one step forwards. How does that work? Sure. Sorry. Um. Oh, okay. So you're gonna. I think you're gonna just stay on this bridge here and just keep an eye out on what's going. On. I mean, we have actually we have towers now, so we don't really need that anymore, do we? We should have pretty good cover. Yeah, we don't see quite as far because I didn't put one here, but yeah, we're good. Actually, that one, I shouldn't have sent it that way because I just realized there's no crossing there. I still want to go up north. Yeah, we can do that. We can take some other crossing over here somewhere. I'm sure there is one, right? There you go, there's one up there. Is that actually the faster route? Oh, there's one right there as well. Why the fuck does everyone go around this way then? Oh, whatever. General. Yeah, sure. I certainly should have sent this guy around here. That was. I took the, the longer path for sure. All right. Anyway, uh, no more, uh, no more uh, wasting time. I didn't actually move the ships, but they already have movement set up. Are we being besieged? No, we're not. Okay. Well, that lets me get a unit in here, but that doesn't really change much, to be honest. I wonder. Germania and oh, well, it's still better that Germania owns that and not Gaul, to be honest. But yeah, that's still. Not good for us. Massel and Scythia are uh, allies too. Pontus and the Seleucid Empire at war, and all the Roman factions besides myself have declared war on the Greek cities, which I'm sure means that they don't like me too much. Now, my question uh, it doesn't matter. I was thinking that maybe in this game, this was the game where agents can actually block a bridge and stuff, so these guys might be trapped can here be forever. <laughs> uh, but I don't know. <laughs> I don't think they are. How funny would that be, though? I mean, they could put put that guy in the army, but still, Noble master. it's pretty interesting. Your honor. Fucking hell, it's just it's got another like army in there too. This guy is also just a family member, no faction leaders or anything like that. All right, we'll keep recruiting. 
I really just need more units right now. Splitting the troops. Move out. Splitting the troops. Move out. Out of move. And we finished a whole bunch of buildings this time, so we need to spend a bunch of money. Ah, so we, yeah, we got it. So we can get the governor's palace now. Which probably is a good call. I don't know if it's actually what it actually does. I mean, obviously it gets our stuff to the next level so I can get the next level buildings, but is it worth going for militia barracks first? What does the next building actually give? Principes or something. Principes. Uh, yeah, Principes. So they're just a little bit better. But we don't even have the other building yet, so there's not really any point of going for that. Uh, I think we're going to go for militia barracks first. And then, so I can start recruiting here, and then I'll build the governor's palace after that. Because right now, Hastati are still pretty good. Right, we built several farms. Uh, over here. That increases trade by an extra four Goku. Pretty good. Uh, paved roads. A little bit more than that. Also not particularly amazing, though. Let's see if we have any other buildings we should build first. Batavium. We could build militia barracks here, too. Still has incredible population growth, so we definitely want to uh, train from here at some point at least. Actually, does do something. Oh, that's okay. Yeah, that's that's a certain one. Those roads are insane. Probably because we're going to uh, Greece with those roads, and Greece is quite rich, I believe. And Salona. Roads. Don't do jack. Farms. Yeah, farms. Okay, so that leaves then Mediolanum still again, which we can't afford to do something at. Um, yeah, let's go Militia. No, let's go Rhodes here too then. Yeah, they increase it by a tiny bit more, sure. It'll pay off in the long term. Our mini may actually build a port, so maybe we should build some. Oh, here we are, we're building the barracks here. Yeah. Got it, don't worry. General. Keep recruiting more units. Nope. I figured that would take a while. Leaving the army. Move out. Okay. This force is getting up there, though. Kind of want to switch stuff around, but whatever. We'll do it in battle and undo it later. Town grows aluminium. Okay. Upgrading to a city. Some menu builds available for you to build. To do this, you'll need to build it. Uh, upgrade your governor's villa to a governor's palace. You can leave this until later, but as the population increases further, overcrowding will eventually start to increase squatter levels and slow down growth. Ah, okay, so I don't want to wait too long. That's okay. We'll, we'll build the militia barracks and then we'll build it. That was the plan anyway, so that works out. Imperator. Right. We actually... Oh, shit. I don't have enough money for a tower, and I do really want a tower, and I don't want to wait this wait with this guy. Alright, you're gonna go... That way. Or I really do disband him. He is pretty crap. It's 170 a turn. Yeah, you know what? See you later. You've been good. Town expense. Oh, right, of course. I should have done that in a particular place, but that works out because that expands this town. In which case, I think I'll cancel that. No, that's actually. That, this is still more important, though, isn't it? I should cancel the roads here. They're quite expensive. That allows us to do this as well as the tower. Nice one. That actually, that was a good place to do it at, I think. Although we probably would have gotten there pretty soon anyway. But this is actually this is this worked out quite well for us. But I did forget about that. You add population of the unit elsewhere. So I should have actually done it in the place where I wanted it most. But Suggestica was a perfect one in this particular case. So works out really well. Build tower. Build tower. Alright, so I probably want no one more. Moves, sir. Here, and eh, maybe one in that corner, Forward. and then one over in that corner there. Forward. All right, you were going to join the army, so General. let's just have you. We can't do that, nope. sir. All right. March. I didn't actually Out let go yet. Move, sure. Orders. General. Okay. I still want to hire these. Oh, there's three of them now. I do really want three of them, so I may have to sir. just use some of the money Forward. for that. Because those guys are actually quite good. Well, they're 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 pretty good. They're better than the Vilates, and they're cheaper than them. So. Okay, um, last but not least, we are recruiting a unit, yeah, so we didn't actually forget to do that, that's good. Let's have a look at my family tree. I want to see if there's anyone else is coming of age soon. 14, so yes, 10, 4, 14 year old for sure. Alright, that's it. Um, Alright, Decimus Pompeius is our uh, 
our heir's oldest son. Actually, no, he's married into the family, doesn't he? Yeah, otherwise you'd have Julia in, Julius in his name. So he, this guy is actually would be the next heir, unless he passes it over to one of his brothers. Quintus Julius, who is currently with uh, Flavius Julius. And Vivius Julius is another... What do you call it? Because I don't really want to take it away from him, but I kind of do want, it, want my heir to be someone who's actually leading armies, but... Because I don't know what it gives exactly, but... Influence and personal security. Uh, doesn't actually do anything necessarily. Um, although the faction leader one probably gives command. Uh, to influence, one command, and personal security. Yeah, so this the, the faction leader definitely would be best as an actual general, but yeah. Right. And that turn. I forgot a whole bunch of stuff. Uh, I don't want anything with you. Sorry. Forgot. Yeah, the navy one for sure was the big one. Because I could have been uh, at Egypt by now, I think. Or close to, anyway. Here we go. Alright. Well, there goes that. Awaiting your command. Okay, so you... Your honor. Oh, this cannot way. do that, sir. Your honor. I cannot do that, Without sir. delay. I cannot do that, sir. Don't want to be a dick, at but I once. cannot do that. Noble master. At once. I'm spy right Out there. Of moves. Out of moves. information. Britannia and Germania are war... Weren't they already? I guess they... Peace. They've broken their alliance, and Britannia and Gaul are now allies. Wow, they're switching all over the place. Um, Navy, before I forget again, because I really want to get you guys to Egypt now. What's up with that, like, I can't do more than, like, when I click, but when I drag it works better. I don't know. Okay. Kudas, Stati. Retrain. Oh, you're yeah, right, we got the um, upgrades now. These guys didn't quite get that yet, though. They didn't get the memo. Alright, so we're under siege, so... Either we attack now, or we wait until they attack me in the fort, which... I think we lose men over time, don't we? But I also get more men in range. Don't really want them, to be honest, but... Uh, I don't know how it's gonna work. Oh fuck, I was retraining this unit, and then I just moved them away. Well, doesn't matter. It doesn't really matter. So I want you to put down the final one here. Build tower. Here. Build tower. Okay, so that's that's got all that covered, I think. I could place one some around here, but it's not really gonna matter because there's no road here. I'm not sure if there's a road here. Yeah, there is. Or a pass anyway. The blacksmith is done, right? So Areti and I certainly do want to build something, I think. But I also really want to recruit these three units here, so I'm gonna I'm gonna focus on that first. Still have enough money to probably build something anyway. Forward, moves depleted. Okay. Yes, master. Yes, master. Probably should end this episode actually. Half blocked for my diplomat. Right. Uh, this diplomat here is still just sure. hanging about. Yeah, you can keep doing that. In fact, where you are right now is basically fine. We've already moved them, we moved the other diplomat too. That's all I wanted to do before I ended this episode. So I think that will be that. So I'll, I'll queue up a building as well. So we could go for stables or the practice range. I mean, the stables are more important. Market probably increases income by a fair bit too, to be honest. Uh, yeah, that's, that's significant. I'll focus on that for a little bit longer. We are recruiting a unit, are we not? We're not. Oh, that's the wrong place. We are. Perfect. Okay. We train like I might want to actually. Ah, I may, may even want to send this army through there to get retrained. Kind of depends on how this war goes, but we'll see. Forward. Either way, that's going to be that for now. So thank you all very much for watching this episode. Next time, it looks like we're going to have a pretty big uh, fight on our hands against Goal, but we'll see. Until then, have a good day and goodbye. <laughs>